Hey everyone, Dan from Iora here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at five helpful tips that you can use to start writing your own music. Tip number one is practice every day. Now what I mean by this is that you need to be doing more than just playing scales and playing a chord progression. That is great by all means, but practicing every day also encompasses recording and writing. Um, it is super important to learn and practice how to record and sound good. That is the most important thing. Uh, if you watch our video log, you'll actually see me in particular uh, struggling to record and that is a perfect insight into why it is important to do this. Now, I in the past had never really focused very much on uh, recording myself and making it sound super super good, as funny as that sounds. I practice songs and jam them, but recording yourself is a completely different ball game and it's something that you will find out soon enough that you need to work more on if it's something that you don't already regularly do. Also, practicing every day encompasses uh, learning new techniques and applying them to your writing. I think that's also really important. Uh, we try to learn new techniques and replicate them in our writing as best as we can. And not only are we learning this new technique, we are applying this technique and overall we are writing, which I think is super important um, to get everything in one kind of bubble. Okay, so tip number two. This is not by any means the only way to write, but a really good thing to get into the habit of doing is actually not using the guitar at all. Um, by that I mean using programs like Guitar Pro or Sibelius if that's what you use. The reason for this is because it is really easy as a guitarist to get confined to that same old pentatonic box and your writing may start to feel stale and it, like it's really going nowhere. Uh, writing on a program, the benefits of that is that you can actually write things that you are not usually comfortable playing straight off when you pick up the guitar. This will actually give you something to work towards and it will also help you progress as a guitarist. Uh, all of our previous releases we just recorded straight into Logic um, and did it that way. However, all of our new releases uh, going forward we've actually decided to start writing them on Guitar Pro. I like to think of it like you are creating like a map or a blueprint of your song, you know, and it's much better when you go to record the song, you have an idea of, or, you know, what you want it to sound like, and you have structure, you don't have to worry about chopping and changing too much, because you've already sorted that out uh, prior to recording, which will make the whole process just a lot more easier in the long run. Okay, so tip number three. Now, I have found this one to be super useful, especially when writing my aura songs, and that is using your voice. Now, most phones these days come with uh, a voice memo app, or well, mine's an Apple, I'm sure Android has an equivalent. And as you can see on here, I have a bunch of ideas that I have probably sung really horribly. I actually recall writing or singing the melody to Travail, uh, the first song in our second EP, while driving, which is uh, super illegal where I'm from, but that doesn't matter because we wrote a song out of it, so um, I guess, yeah, that's fine. And um, I cannot stress this method enough, especially if you're out and you don't have access to a guitar or a computer and you just want to get an idea out so you can revisit it later. It is a super, super useful tool to use and it's, we have it, we have a voice, so why not use it, I guess? Okay, so tip number four is you don't have to do everything alone. And by that I mean you don't have to think about every element of your song by yourself. 
When I first started writing music, I used to get quite frustrated because I had no idea about how to write drums and bass and I'd use MIDI presets to no real advantage. They would sound okay, but nothing that amazing. And that is the point I want to make is that now in today's day and age, we have the opportunity to message musicians and I think more so than ever, we are able to uh, you know, collaborate in such a way that is just so much more simpler than it used to be 20, 30 years ago. Everyone is a Facebook message away. And as long as you take into account, you know, what I mentioned in, you know, tip number one, you know, practice, record your music well to a reasonable standard, other musicians will acknowledge this and be happy to jump on board with your projects. And it is also important, you know, in our case, to have a mentor. And our mentor, um, some of you may know, is Jake House and Lowe from the Helix Nebula and Pliny. It is important to have someone that you can, you know, or a group of people to send your music to and, you know, get feedback and, you know, ask people for advice and, you know, it's a constant learning curve and even us, we are learning every single day and we are making mistakes along the way. It's perfectly normal, but it really does help if you have people around you, like-minded people, that are able to give something to you and help you, you know, get to the point where you want to get to. And, you know, in return, you are able to help them as well. And I think that's, you know, such an important thing um, for any musician to, you know, take on board. Lastly, tip number five, which is patience. Writing takes a lot of time and you are going to go through a lot of trial and error. But it is important to stay patient with yourself and with the process. Prior to our first EP, Moon Grotto, Dan and I had actually written an entire EP in which we decided to scrap. This is perfectly normal and something that any creative in any creative industry would have gone through at some point in their career. When this happens, you can choose to rework the idea or move on to a completely new idea. Remember, there is always the option of going back to older ideas and reworking them at a later stage. It is important that you don't rush any of your ideas and let the creative process happen naturally. This is all part of being patient. Anyway guys, I hope you found those tips useful. Please check our channel regularly for more videos coming soon. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe to this channel. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Till next time, see ya.